This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Angie Beaupre and Brianna Normando with me from Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Lanark County. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. We have got one week left for our Tim Hortons Bowl for Kids sake here in Smith Falls, Carlton Place, and Perth too. So we've got one week. we got to get some more teams going. Yes. yes. We're still accepting teams, and you can register by calling our office, 613-283-0570. And you call and ask for a pledge kit. And inside the pledge kit uh, has sheets that you hand out to your team and everybody collects pl um, pledges and you can win prizes. Uh, we have door prizes at the event. It's a really fun event and we're s hoping to get some more teams signed up. It's uh, our biggest fundraiser of the year. And now th those of us that are a little older, we like the old fashioned way this way, but you can also do it online. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You can go to our website, which is lanark.bigbrothersbigsisters.ca and there's ways to give. You click on that drop down menu, it'll take you right to the Bowl for Kids uh, event page. Or on the main page, there is the logo. If you just click on that logo, it takes you straight to the page, tells you all about the event. The event is happening Saturday the 18th in Smith Falls and in Perth. Um, but in Carlton Place, it's happening on Tuesday the 21st. And we still have about four lanes available for those in Carlton Place that like to bowl with us. Um, and we have plenty of room still in Smith Falls and in Perth. And there's a bit of incentive if you want to, when you're collecting pledges, you can also get prizes yourself. Yes, inside the pledge kit, there's a list of prizes. So if you raise $100, you get a $5 TIM card. If you raise uh, $250, you get bowling passes to the bowling alley that you're at, uh, plus the TIMS card. And then the top one is if you raise $500, that you get um, the top prize plus the two lower level prizes as well. Okay. And along with bowling that day, there's going to be an online auction for about a week before mm -hmm. and you need door prizes as well. Yes, yes we're still searching for door prizes um, from local businesses that would like to uh, donate prizes. They can just give our office a call. Like I said, it's 613-283-0570. Um, the door prizes get handed out as part of the fun of the event. It, it, those who have swag, it's a great way to get your name out there. Um, and we're also looking for auction items. The auction will run um, from the 10th until the 19th. It closes at uh, 8 p.m. on the 19th, and that's sponsored by Rob Garvin this year. Um, our online platform that you go to register and have your team online to share out your thing, that is uh, um, the Connections team, Brenda and uh, John from Remax. Okay, our, yeah, great, our sponsors yeah. for mm -hmm. that. But the event, like I said, it's Tim Hortons, Bowl for Kids' Sake, and they've been our sponsor for a long time. Um, and we really appreciate their support that they give. Um, and Cochico is one of our corporate sponsors as well. We have a team in there, too. Yes, we and you team. have a team to bowl. They're coming to Perth. Yes. Um, so we have uh, lots of sponsors. You can see that on that event page. When you go to our website, you'll see all the sponsors that have lined up for us. Um, trying to think. We have huge community support. Yes. Yeah. So they have definitely backed us this not only this year but the years before. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we put out an ask for a lane sponsor, we have so many wonderful companies that have stepped up to sponsor the lanes, um, and they help cover the extra costs as well. Um, and like Angie said, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important to us. It's really important to the community, um, and we are totally blessed to have so much community support, whether it be a team or a business or anybody just sharing those links to, so that people make donations. Like, mm -hmm. it's been wonderful. And I mean, we're coming out of COVID too. People, yes. there's that excitement of being able to have an event. Like, this is 43 years. Yes. And yes. COVID, you know, shut it down for a couple of years. So now that, that where things are opening up, people are like, yeah, we can do this again. Yes, yes. 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 And our goal is to raise $70,000 for mentoring. Wow. And these sponsors help pay for the cost of the event so that the um, donation dollars that come in actually get to go towards supporting mentoring in Lanark mm -hmm. County. That's right. And I, yeah. I see so often like a, a group of, uh, of like family work uh, uh, co-workers get together. It's it's a team thing, you know, yeah. of, uh, yes. of friends and family. Yes, we have together. a lot of local schools that come out as yes. well. They, they bowl ahead of time because they're not available on the Saturday. But uh, there's a little friendly competition there. There's a Purple Heart Trophy that uh, Duncan J. Schooler has won think five years in a row <laughs> yeah for raising the most dollars um, but this year we threw a little bit in because some of the schools are a smaller staff yeah. so we've threw a little incentive that if they come in the best costume um, so they're, we're encouraging them to dress up this year that they can win a $75 Tim Hortons gift card for their staff excellent yeah. excellent I mean Brianna you can talk a little bit about where does some of this money go um, so our money goes directly into mentoring 
So all of the programs that we run do not have a fee for the individuals or the families that use our services. So when we mentor in the community, whether it's our teen ISMs or our adults going into the school after school program, um, all of the funds go to generate those programs. And what people sometimes forget is that we are all of Lanark County. Mm -hmm. So whether it be Perth, Smith Falls, Car Place, Pakenham, Elmont, Lanark, we are spread out all over. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a wonderful, wonderful way to just keep us going more like to those border lines so that we can serve as many children as possible. And you guys are a small and mighty team. Like when mm -hmm. you talk about your catchment area and, and the team of, of people that you've got, it's, it's amazing what you mm -hmm. guys get done. Yeah. Like I, how many uh, children are you serving right now? Oh goodness. See, you're asking go. the hard questions because because yes. so itself. you don't even know if it's so it's it would be in the hundreds it yeah. would be yeah. in the hundreds last year was 426 i believe was our our number which was amazing because for a lot of that year we weren't even allowed in the schools yet mm -hmm. yeah so it was quite hard to try to get our numbers back up because in previous years we were you know a big organization right. serving a big amount of kids and then COVID hit and we lost <laughs> a lot of our staff and our numbers dropped because right. we just didn't have the capacity and we couldn't get in the schools to do those group programming right. and now that we've been welcomed back into the schools it's amazing to get to see these programs come alive again and they're happy to see you I'm yeah sure. and it's a huge adjustment for everybody right because we were so contained and now once it opens it there's a lot of leg work to get everybody back rolling again so it it seems like it was a slow takeoff at first but now it's like knocking at the door and we're ready to go so yeah. it's really encouraging and this definitely helps us being able to spread that much further yeah and i'm sure if we get the word out there and you need some more door prizes you need some more auction items people yeah. are going to be mm -hmm. stepping up to the plate for you because usually those auction uh, that you have are huge yeah yes. so. yeah the auction is under 32 auctions so if you go to 32 auctions and um search for the uh, BFK 23 is the extension for the auction and you'll find that on our website if you're looking and it's also on our kits so those who have a kit they can get right to the auction or follow us on Facebook because we'll be advertising for the auction as well. well. And that's from February 10th until the 19th. The 19th. Until the 19th. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So lots of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. So once again, how do you register? They can call us at the office 613-283-0570. Um, you can go online to our, but go to our website and look for the logo that says Bowl for Kids. Click on that and click the fundraise button. It'll let you add a team, add your own pictures. It's great. Excellent, excellent. Well, we look forward to it. We know we've got a team here from your TV in it. Uh, we've got a, one of our special Olympic athletes, is in, and he's a bowler, so Robbie <laughs> Hall. So we're uh, you got the advantage. We do. Yeah. We got the advantage. And I do know that uh, Chrissy Jones, who is also a special Olympic uh, bowling athlete, is on the your Independence Smith Falls team too. Nice. So, yeah. Perfect. We got some good bowlers out there. So Perfect. look forward to this. But again, February. 18th. 18th and the 21st for Carlton Place. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. We're going to have fun. Yeah, thanks thanks so much. for having us.